For this DIY, you're going to need a pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern, whichever you choose. I have actually several I did in this video, so stay tuned for those. I got my jack-o'-lantern at Walmart for about $10. You're also going to need some plaster, some paint, and something to mix your stuff in. So I'm just going to start adding my water into my bowl, and then we'll add in the plaster little by little, and just mix it up with the paintbrush. This stuff dries really fast, so be careful with it. Add more water if necessary, and then we'll go ahead after it's all mixed up and add our paint directly into the plaster, and that will give the plaster some color. Then we don't have to like go back and do another step of painting. I'm not sure of the name, so please forgive me, but just add in some orange or red and white. Create like an orange colored paint mixture. You want it pretty light in color. So the colors I'm using was a cream I got from Joann's, the terracotta color, which is that reddish, orangish color. I got that from Dollar Tree. And then this orange color I got from Michael's. Now I'm just trying to make sure all my strokes are kind of going the way that the pumpkin is formed, like with the lines, so that I don't have any weird distractions or anything. So I'm just kind of going with the flow with painting this on. Now this will dry really hard because there's plaster in the paint mixture. So remember that. So if you have any weird clumps and lines, it's gonna like stay like that. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I had other pumpkins I wanted to throw in here and use up my mixture ultimately because I did mix a lot of this paint. So a little goes a long way, just remember that. So I got this pumpkin from somebody, I don't really remember where, but I've accumulated it somehow, so someone must have donated it to me. So I'm just gonna paint over this, and I wanna create a really fun vase with this piece. And then this pumpkin, I wanted to upcycle it. I got it, I think a couple years ago. I think from Target, I cannot remember, to be honest. Well anyways, I just kind of grabbed some things that I already had on hand and I'm like, I'm gonna just transform them with this fun DIY terracotta method that everyone's been doing on Instagram. I've seen it here on YouTube. I actually got inspired by several different people doing it on Instagram. And then I saw my friend here on YouTube Michelle, and you guys might know her as Moxie DIY and Java. She actually did this fun method, oh my gosh, and I can't wait to show you what we're gonna do. Instead of using flour, she ended up using body powder, and we'll get more into that when that time comes. So this little guy I had gotten from Dollar General, I believe, uh, again, a couple years ago, but I thought it was so cute. I just wasn't really into the color of it anymore. It's just a little like tea light holder. So I think it's gonna be super duper cute to put a little tea light in there and just light him up. And then this one over here was from Target a couple years ago. I actually paid uh, $2.50 for it. It was on clearance. I think I gave one away or I sold it. I cannot remember, but anyways, it's a nice heavy ceramic piece. I just didn't want it this color anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over the whole thing. Again, I'm doing my first layer right here and then I'll go back in and do another layer. So here's how my pumpkin turned out. As you can see, it did chip right here because this is kind of flexible so that broke but I'm just gonna paint over this, but this is the texture. I have to do a second coat on this, and that is so that we can put the powder all over, and then we will seal it. Now I wanted to show you the other ones I did here. They turned out okay as well. It did chip right here, again, same situation. But you can see all the brush strokes, so I wanna go back over this. This has some areas right here that need fixed. Definitely needs another coat. This one's pretty much done. I'm just gonna glue the stem on right here and then this will be done. I also decided to use my leftovers and make this bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and release the air out and then we'll see how this came out. So 
So there's my little bowl. I think it's kind of cool. I kind of flattened this out so it would like sit upright. I think I'll go around and make sure that this looks good. I'll probably have to add some more plaster to this just to make it thicker. But I'm loving the fun texture of it and the color is really nice. So I just have a little bit of the plaster in here. I'm going to go ahead and mix my colors again. And then as it's still kind of wet, I'm going to take this body powder and just kind of dump it on there. So this is what I was talking about that Michelle ended up showing everyone is using this body powder instead of flour. I will leave her video linked down below so you guys can check out hers as well. But I am absolutely loving how this method really does work. It can turn any piece look like terracotta. Just thing it that broke. And I think adding that plaster in was essential to really helping me shape out like the eye area around this and make it look more handmade. When you do the second coat, you really don't have to like fully coat your entire jack-o'-lantern. It's just kind of randomly like this. And then as it's wet, you would sprinkle on the powder. Lightly brush it off. By the way, this stuff makes a huge mess, so I would recommend doing it outdoors if possible. Also, please wear a mask as this stuff goes everywhere and you might be breathing it in. What do you guys think? Does it look like terracotta? So pretty, right? I gotta fix the tooth a little bit here. Here is my original inspiration from the Pottery Barn. I want to make sure I get this stuff off this one. I think it looks good, but there is some areas I need to touch up, like here, right here. So I'll just have to go back in and just put the color wherever I see it needs to be. And then once you are done dusting off all the body powder from your projects, then you can go ahead and spray it with clear sealant or just a matte clear spray that you can get from Walmart.
Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you get to create something fun for this Halloween. I love these projects, so I really hope you give it a try. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, share it with your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!